Hey guys, it's Jazz Jazz. I am here today with another art video. So last week, or the week before, I entered an art competition in Upland's Rasby, which is just one train station over from me. So the requirements for the uh, exhibition, getting accepted into the exhibition was to do a drawing, painting, oil painting, anything like that except watercolour. You weren't allowed to do watercolour. Um, so they had to be 30 by 30 centimetres and I originally just had one idea for what I would send in which is this drawing that I'm doing right now which is actually of Gdansk but I have had feedback that it looks a lot like Copenhagen uh, which I personally have not been to so I wouldn't know but we can go with that it's Copenhagen it's fine um, so I was originally just going to be doing this one but then I sort of finished it and I had time over and then I thought well I could hedge my bets by doing two other artworks that are in different styles so those videos will also be coming up soon and unfortunately none of the artworks were accepted and I'm not really sure why I need to go and look at the exhibition to see what everybody else did although I have heard that it's sort of mostly sort of quite traditional art styles um, so I could understand then why they wouldn't really like the uh, pen drawings that might be not something that they think is very good for a, for a contemporary artist I don't know but anyway so hopefully I will go there and sort of figure out the reasons why but anyway specifically about this drawing I took a photo well a few photos in Gdansk with different buildings and different colors and so this is sort of a copying and pasting different buildings to make this drawing so this drawing isn't a direct copy from a video a uh, photo it's um, several different buildings that I've seen put into this composition so and I quite like doing that because although uh, certain um, building blocks you know neighborhoods can look very picturesque and quite lovely some of them um, if you're actually putting it onto a canvas can be um, a bit lopsided or um, just not really in line with sort of the best layout practices for an artwork so you have to think about that and copying and pasting so that's probably why it ended up looking a bit more like Copenhagen um, so this style that I'm doing now I have been doing for quite a while with different artworks and um, it's one of a few different techniques that I do when I'm using pens um, because I either sort of do uh, large color block areas like in this one or the other style is sort of a lot of smaller strokes um, and the, the reason why I have sort of those two main different styles is that the one that I'm doing in this video uh, it doesn't really give a lot of movement to the objects in the picture everything looks very stagnant and and there isn't really an essence of liveliness so it's a lot more illustrative than sort of painterly um, and then the other style which I'll have a video coming up soon of that uh, it does have a lot more movement in it the strokes sort of bring your eye around and twisting and turning and um, getting different forms um, and also a lot more color change between strokes so there's sort of a less stable um, color placement uh, so everything is sort of like moving around and there's not really um, an end point to this color and a starting point to another color it's all very you know blending in and everything like that so those are the, the two styles that I use most with um, pen drawings and I probably these days I'm sort of preferring the 
the movement one a bit more but I think that I could um, mesh them together to create something that would be even more exciting and more visually appealing so that's definitely something that I'm going to work on and the other art sort of thing that I want to talk about with the exhibition is that with the acrylic painting that I did so I did two pen drawings and an acrylic painting the acrylic painting also has sort of features of both of those drawing styles so um, using color to block out different areas to give structure and form and also using short strokes of different colors to bring liveliness and light and movement into the into the painting so in that way with acrylic I have merged those two styles but obviously being acrylic it ends with a final product that is neither very much like the, either of the drawings so I think maybe if I worked back from the acrylic painting and tried to turn that into a drawing that that might help get the um, desired outcome that I want as opposed to trying to merge the two styles together um, yeah so there's different ways that you can sort of work back from other people's art styles to find something else or meshing two different art styles together like there's just so many things that you can do um, with other inspirations so yeah so hopefully you guys will see that soon in the other videos and other than that I hope you liked this drawing and you can say whether or not you think I should have made it in or not and I am ready for a lot of criticism I'm ready got my shark over there he's probably gonna eat you anyway have a wonderful day hey doll